Okay, here we go. First border crossing post-COVID. What's it gonna be like? Are we gonna have issues? Uh, Good afternoon, internet. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of a review. Uh, the end of February, my buddy Mark and I did a pre-run for an upcoming Baja trip uh, down to San Quentin, Mexico. It's an uh, hour and a half, two hours south of Ensenada, so pretty far down in Baja Norte. And uh, one of the questions that was really on my mind as we were getting ready to do this trip is, post-COVID, what in the world is the border crossing like? We crossed in Tecate. I haven't crossed the border in some time. So we're gonna cover that as well as share some of the video that I took on our route. There's not gonna be a lot of interaction. It's mostly riding, but uh, I just thought I'd throw it out there and share you. But it's more, if it's on your mind, what's the border crossing like by you? Well, I can share what ours is like. Okay, like I said, uh, this is really the first real video that I ever made I just got my camera, uh, my buddy Mark and I did a pre-run for a trip that's upcoming into Baja, so we just ran down there and ran back, um, and we'll cover it. The border crossing is coming right up, we're just traveling from Dolzura to Tecate, California, then we'll cross the border into Tecate, Mexico. I re may remember I covered this little spur, the 188, that runs from the 94 down to the border crossing at Tecate in a previous video. Um, it's about two miles off the 94 down to the border. The Tecate, Mexico side is huge, huge sprawling city. Okay, here we go. Uh, the first border crossing post-COVID. Quite a while since we've done one. Pretty nervous, gotta say. Those metal tope, I didn't miss those. So far, so good. Oh, are we gonna... What kind of light? Green light. All right. The border crossings are a piece of cake. Nothing to fear here. No issues, we're not getting stopped on our way. We got the nod green light to continue. Fantastic. Piece of cake. And we're in Mexico. Feels good. All right, we'll uh, cut through this plaza here on our way to jump on the three in Mexico. We got to go up these hills in the wine country. Make sure you stay to the left as you go up the hill here. So we can head to Ensenada. All right, we're almost to the top. Once we cross these hills, we'll work our way into Baja's wine country, the Guadalupe Valley. That is the Guadalupe. All right, we're on top. Here we go. Beautiful out here. Baja wine country. Valle de Guadalupe. Fantastic wineries out here. We'll do a video on that one in these days. Just hang out in the wine country. Let's enjoy some of this. dropping into the Ensenada area. You can see the ocean there in the background. But one of the things that I do appreciate about the roads in Mexico, particularly the interpeninsular highway, is there will be diagonal white lines crossing the road anytime there's a known uh, hazard or something to be cautious of. And I really appreciate that. If it's blind corners or maybe there's a, another road that intersects 
just to kind of give you a heads up. You see some of them here. Uh, you'll see them along the way, and, and that's a really nice touch. Because maybe you don't know there's an intersection or a blind curve where a truck could be, let's say. Uh, so those lines are really helpful. You can see them there on the other side as well going up. Mark's here in front of me. Again, just really gorgeous drive through Baja wine country, dropping in and Sonata. All right, we're getting ready to jump on the one. Head south, we've kind of been heading southwest for a bit. Beautiful stretch of road here as we get onto the one into Ensenada, drive along the coast until we curve inland a bit right at the old bay where the lighthouse is. It's be a fantastic stretch of road to get gas right here several gas stations before you really get into the heart of traffic in, in Ensenada. Just drive along the coast is beautiful. I did mention this was a pre-run. We're getting ready to head back to Baja for a longer visit. So stay tuned for those videos. It's kind of why I went back and looked at this footage. It was just nice to get our feet wet. Lots of cool places to stay in this stretch of Ensenada as well, if you are so inclined. There it is, the old bay, the little bay that uh, was downtown Ensenada. Alright, here we are, uh, coming back into uh, the mountainous area, just south of Ensenada. Gorgeous country out here. Let Mark take the lead for a bit. Enjoy some music. Enjoy the scenery. Just love riding through Baja. Okay, next stop should be in the, the lowlands where it becomes farm country. We'll check back in a few minutes. Okay, here we are passing through San Vicente nice little stopping off point. There's a market, a really good gas station here. Uh, 
kind of some services. It's one of the last big towns until you get uh, further south to San Quentin. If you need anything, I recommend stopping here. They have most everything you need, and some of the towns further south are considerably smaller. That's about it for San Vicente. Pretty incredible once you get into the farmland. There's just small little towns and most of the traffic is trucks and buses, people that are going out to these farming areas. And it's just thousands of square miles, I think, laid out here in this valley. Just, it's, it's an incredible sight. There's no way you can really capture it. You know, we're trying to video it here, but man, the farms are just so huge. It's where a considerable amount of produce comes from. All right, we've made it to San Catin. We're pulling into Molino Viejo, the old mill. A beautiful hotel. Don Eddy's is right here as well. And this is kind of the bay area of San Catin, uh, the northern shore of the bay area that makes up old San Catin. Uh, just gorgeous. Great restaurants here. Fantastic. Like I say, we're on our way back down. We're going to be making a few other stops along the way, but we are definitely staying in this area on the upcoming trip as well. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. If you like this kind of content, please, please like the video. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications so you can see when I post new content. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope everything's going great. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. We're out of here. Cerveza time.